Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this lecture, I would like to explain another concept that is effect of loading on stress on wires in the tendons, the pre-stressed concrete. See here, so consider a pre-stressed concrete beam. So this is the concrete beam of span L. So providing a tendon with an eccentricity E from the centroidal axis. So this is the centroidal axis. Here a tendon is placed with an eccentricity E. Let P be the pre-stressing force. So here the beam is subjected to a hogging moment. If you observe clearly here, the beam is subjected to a hogging moment. Okay. So here this is some theta P. Here also I mentioned clearly the theta P like that. Okay. The beam is subjected to a hogging moment which is P into E. So the beam will therefore deflect. So the slope at each end will be theta p will be equal to. So due to this deflection, it will be p e l by two e c i. So you please remember this one directly. The slope at each end will be p e l by two e c i. So that is theta p. I am writing here again p e l by 2 EC I and again here the beam is subjected to a downward loading which is UDL acting W per unit front. The beam is subjected to a downward load so therefore there will be deflections and hence there will be again slope at each end. See here theta L again slope at each end. So due to this def downward deflection, again the beam will be deflect that is theta L. So again the slope at each end will be equal to W L cube by 24 EC I. Here also same, I will write down here clearly. So this one will be equal to theta L. I am mentioning with theta L that is W L cube by 24 EC I. So net rotation net rotation will be equal to theta p minus theta l so that is theta will be net rotation is theta theta will be equal to theta p minus theta l so again theta will be equal to i am writing here p e l by 2 c i again minus w l cube by 24 e c so this is the net rotation. So this theta p is rotation due to pre-stress and this theta l will be the rotation due to the loading. Rotation due to the loading. And this theta p will be equal to rotation due to the pre-stressing force. Okay. So that is the net rotation acting here. And already we know the formulas. So extension of the tendons. You remember some formulas extend extension of the tendon due to the net deformation due to the net deformation will be equal to the formula will be equal to 2 e theta again increase in strain in the tendons. increase in strain in the tendons. We know the formula for the strain. Change in length to the original length. So here extension will be 2 e theta and original length is the L. So that is 2 e theta by L. And again increase in stress in the tendons. increase in stress in the tendons that one will be equal to we know stress young small s will be equal to tendon will be the steel so i am taking small s of less of steel so young small s steel will be equal to stress by strain 
again here stress will be equal to strain into things more or less so what is strain here 2e theta by l into es so these are the formulas we have to remember for the solving this type of models 